it does bring the California legislature in the picture because the California legislature will soon consider a moratorium on the death penalty like the one in Illinois. We can put it in. With barely more than a day left before his scheduled execution, lawyers for Stanley Tucci Williams are appealing to the state Supreme Court with what's called a risk taking corpus. It says, an error of constitutional magnitude led to... Today, a conversation with death row prisoner Stanley Tucci Williams. Yes, if I'm alive, I can always strive forward to uh, prove my innocence. Stanley Tukey Williams will be executed here at San Quentin Prison in just a matter of hours. Perhaps his best hope for a reprieve, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Grants clemency to Tukey Williams that it will be over for him and he will never be elected anywhere. Carolyn, this is the legal equivalent of a Hail Mary pass. Williams' appeals have already been turned out. He's been on death row for 24 years, exhausting all of his appeals. He's been turned down by every court, including the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals widely considered him asleep. The second is stopping his breathing, and the third stopping his heart. A doctor declares him dead. We, know, we hear rumors. Over. We hear rumors about riots in LA, riots here, riots everywhere. But I can't imagine people rioting in this town. I went into this completely neutral. I am not for an execution. I am not against an execution. I am totally neutral. That is up to the lawmakers. I live right outside the gates of San Quentin, and I got a phone call from Fox News. They wanted to rent my garage space, my lawn space, and anything they could put a truck on. and wanted to know if they could use the inside of the house. And I thought, wow, here's my opportunity to film Fox National News and what they do behind the scenes and why are they invading a teeny village with a, that's only two blocks long. Jim Hammer, outside San Quentin. Jim, thanks a lot. Okay. No talk about it. Okay. I am if you want, yeah. Does it surprise you that I would do my own dishes? Not really. You would do the same thing. I'm not working. The one of the nation's biggest death row cause celebs in decades. You may have heard a number of celebrities speaking out on our air and on this channel uh, regarding this case. Uh, a couple of them have been on today. What do you think of the atmosphere up here? This is kind of strange, isn't it? Here around San Quentin. Yeah, where we are now. Yeah. It's. Um, Ghoulish. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's ghoulish. I'm waiting for someone to be put to death. Uh, or not yeah. put to death. I mean, it's almost weird. You know, you, what, let me just describe the scene a little yeah. bit here. There's, you know, probably 200 media um, ghoulies around right. um, with their big tall sticks and their, you know, uh, microwave satellite. Uh, everybody's doing the. And then you contrast it with the gingerbread houses. And then around the corner from us is this breathtaking vista of the bay. It's beautiful. Of the San Francisco it's Bay. It's a stark contrast. A lot of times people come through here and when there is an execution, they've got to find a place to park and they can't park in the street. Every major station comes to the house and they come knocking at the door every time. And sometimes with their schedules, they come early in the morning and, and one time I remember that they promised that they wouldn't come in the wee hours. So we were sleeping and it was about 4.30 in the morning and I heard this generator going. So I get up and I go outside and then there's the van parked in our driveway with the motor running and, and, and no one's there. So I just went in the van and I, I reached in and I turned the key off to everything and then went back to, to bed. And the uh, <laughs> when the guy got here later, he probably, I don't know what I shut off, he was <laughs> concerned. Every time there's an execution, there's a protest. They were pretty 
well behaved, uh, kind of low key, in, in that they didn't, they weren't antagonistic. Well, one time we had 35 news people in our house, more than one person said it was more than any other time they've ever been together in one in one house. And you don't want to be in the way of all the news people when when they're using the house. And uh, and as they say, once you're, if you do stay, you can't get out. We were here for the whole uh, fiasco of Tookie's execution. He's not in the uh, death watch cell at this time. He is in cell number one up on death row. They call them special events, and they um, showed their identification. They were from the sheriff's department, and they were very concerned about the safety. Um, of the public out here on the night of the execution, and could they use my home for surveillance, undercover surveillance purposes? 51 year old Williams is set to die by lethal injection at San Quentin Prison at one minute past midnight. Governor Schwarzenegger had already denied clemency to Williams earlier today. Later this evening, he rejected yet another request from defense attorneys. I, I, don't, I just don't want to stand right up against you. Uh, well, if I stand right here, I'm in his leg. Right. So I'm asking for a foot. I'm, well, we're, we're, we've, we've given you what we can give you. And Do you know that NBC paid for this area right through here? And we actually made a deal with them to be here? Oh, no, I did not know that. You guys just kind of glommed yeah, on to this area. Well, he's media and I'm media. Why can't I go back to the Everybody has a pass to come in. You see the red tag on the shoulder? Oh, so this man doesn't have one. I don't say it. want to stand up against her, you know, and, and right. push her back. I'm just asking for a foot. No, you're not moving. So the Nation of Islam people who we were oh, being those guys. Who, oh, but what pissed me off, what upset me was that I was being nice to them. Hell no! Hell no! Get, get your pictures. We need to go back to get the light. I could care less about Tukey Williams' name. Yeah, yeah, I know. Actually, That's you should point, be here to make a stand. If that was Jesus Governor Schwarzenegger in there, who had done the same thing Tukey Williams has done, and has had 25 yeah, years, to, yeah, right. 25 is, years to prove himself innocent, I'd be here saying it's, it's, Schwarzenegger deserves it's it. It's not even a matter of whether he's no, going to be able to my stood in front of the woman. May I get back to my fellows, said, or are you still and going said, to prevent me? And said, are you still going those to, who, can, who are without sin cast the first stone. He defended a woman who had broken the law, but, and she was getting the death penalty. Right, 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 right
how and they do the security it just doesn't make any sense. You know, we're trying to do our jobs. And these people out here, they're very passionate about what they feel, what they want to try to accomplish out there. <laughs> Um, the first one was um, very disturbing to me because I'd never experienced it before. I couldn't sleep. Um, I wasn't used to hearing people in the front of my home all night long chanting. This was Fox News' safe house. My house was their safe house. When they were out there in the storm and the protesters would get, they really get revved up. They had their signs and they tried to block Fox news broadcast going live. He was hired by a right-wing talk show host. So they come back to my house, and this is their, their, they were coming into the eye of the storm, the quietness. Even though they knew all that was going on out there, all that screaming, yelling, chanting, drums playing, it, it was just, it was way too bizarre. When I was, filming behind the scenes of the demonstrations, I'd look through my viewfinder and I noticed that it was like a mirror, that I could see people behind me. And after being shoved and pushed and my camera being ripped from me and I get it, got it back, I was always watching that mirror, looking for who's going to attack me next. And that was my safety valve. They took a man's life, but they didn't take his spirit. Because From Pacifica, this is Democracy Now! Most strikingly at the end of the execution, as those three were heading out, they yelled, uh, uh, the state of California just killed an innocent man. A reporter describing the death scene at San Quentin after the state of California executed Stanley Tookie Williams early this morning. I never would want to do this again, uh, film a demonstration. Six years later, after these, the demonstration in 2005, I had this dream. And the dream was, it was scary. It was beyond scary. All these people hated me and they were chasing me around and they hated me and they were trying to get me in jail. And they, they surrounded me and they put me in a, in a box and all I could see was bars. It was, I was confined to this little space and they locked me up. And it was so terrifying that when I woke up, I, I just took me a while to calm down, and I went downstairs and wrote my wife a note um, that I love you. interesting is when it's all over with and it's after midnight in the wee hours I'll walk up to my front porch and I'll I'll look down the street and it's just quiet and there's the guard is by, at the front gate and pacing back and forth and okay so we, like nothing uh, ever we, we got what we want here we've got some protesters we got Jesse we got Vernell and uh, we got a lot of hubbub so okay that's it then.